Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Minister Nay. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is um the David Dane um community center guys. And tomorrow we'll be having a seniors breakfast, a special breakfast for our senior citizens at this community center. So I'm gonna go inside and take a look at the decorations that is being done inside of the building. So guys, I hope everyone is safe and doing well. So guys, this is me um, walking through, looking at um, what's going on with the decoration. The young lady is still inside doing decorations. Um, so I'm just, you know, looking through and there goes my granddaughter. So I'm just taking my time and, you know, just looking at what's going on. And guys, it really was a beautiful time. Uh, senior citizens really enjoy the breakfast celebration we hosted for them on the following day. So stay tuned, guys, to see um, clips of the celebration we hosted for our senior citizens of our community. So I pray everyone is blessed, safe, and doing well. We give God thanks and praise. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, and thank each and every one of you. I appreciate you all. Much love and blessings to you all. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Welcome, 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 each and every one of you, to a special celebration in honor of our senior citizens. The theme scripture is Psalms 34 and 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. So what am I keep up? Just and merciful, 
and give him glory. Father God, we just thank you today. For this is the day that you have made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. And thank you for setting aside this day that God to bless the elderly, especially the elderly people today. And all those that are here, God. And those that are uh, uh, not here. Sometimes, God, they go through pain. We don't know what they're going through. Father God, but I thank you that you are their deliverer. You are their sustainer. You are their keeper. You are their healer. You are their everything because you said you will be with the elderly and gray head to protect them, to keep them, to strengthen them. Oh, God, and keep the mind sound. Let the mind sound, a mind be sound to be on you, to give you the glory and the praise. And it's worthy to be praised. So, Father God, bless them today. Keep them in their right mind. Oh, God, because you know that the, the, that's where the, 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 the forces of evil want to attack your mind. But, God, I thank you that you give them all sound minds. That their minds stay on you. That the mind of Christ be in them. To give you the glory, to give you praise. And to bless your name everywhere. Father God, we just thank you. Because with you, we are nothing. But you, God, we are some that you have called to do your will on this way. So, Father, wherever they are today, you know what they're going through. You know the sickness that touching their bodies today. You know about all the pain. You know about all the suffering. But dear God, I'm so thankful for your peace. That's the past all of the in the midst of these things. Give them your peace. Give them faith in you and trust in you that they can call on you. And dear God, you promise that you will never, never leave them nor forsake them. You'll be with them in every place, dear God, to support them, to defend them, and to keep them strong in the wild health and strength. And long life, Father, to enjoy this beautiful life you bless them with, to praise and to magnify you. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know, our Bible says, if we don't praise him, the rocks will cry. Amen. We will not want the rocks crying unto our God because we were silent. Because one day, all of our eyes are going to close, not to open again. We all want God to say, Welcome to me, not depart from me. Because we are living this life. We have one soul, all of us, one soul. God gave each of us, we have one time in this life, here and now, to serve our God. Amen. When it is silent and our eyes close and sleep, we don't know where we will be. Sometimes we don't have a body to bury. From us in here and moving to these islands, we have buried many people. Not everyone was old. Sometimes we, God says, three score and ten. We don't know who's going to see that. You see what's happening in the nation. We don't even have to go abroad. We have to pray always. Our Bible says without ceasing. Amen. This is so real also so that they will not be fallen by the wayside. They do not need our children to try and be an adult before they are teenagers. It's too worldly. We have to try and get into the village that's going to mold our young people. It really does take a village. Sometimes parents are not able to. We have to step in as a community. There's only one little bit of people. One little bit of people in here. We must assess those who are trying to help. I am here to assist you all in any capacity I can. We had the Ministry of Health here last week. We had the Ministry of the Environment here yesterday. I took DJ Fox sent an email to the one part. We want to fill it in. We want a playground there. 
I'm trying to keep these streets clean. Help me out. Amen. You don't have to. I I do close my door. Not my office door. But come and see me. I'm not a stick in the mud. I am an open person. You can stalk me, you can talk to me, you can talk to me about anything. Anything at all. But I am your conduit to central government. I am to present the barrier I need today. I want to be the pitch for you to them. I write letters, I request, I'm trying to get the social service department here. I'm trying to get environmental help, more traffic. So you all help me to help you all as long as I'm here representing the government. I know this young boy is female. You all females, you know he's getting things done, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. And we're gonna do it. Yeah. So you see, the Rose, I have an employee in here today. You know, I hear, when I say, Rose, let's do such and such, Rose knows only for the good. It's only for the good. I try to treat everyone like a human being. We all. Yes. Because we only have each other, you know. We only have each other. I don't know when they can say, Miss Fox, I need you to go to such and such island. I have worked Long Island, I worked Bimini for three years. Now, everything happens in Bimini, and I need everything. I work in Luther, and now I'm here to assist you all. You all. You need help? That's why the, the government has social services department, where you get in the tight. You all get in the tight, it's called life. Life happens to all of us. So let's keep our soul for our Lord. Amen. Say you did some things, but guess what? It's called like all of us in here did some things. No one is perfect, Amen. but we're gonna try and that's why we're gonna keep praying to God Amen. to relieve us, yes. help us along, forgive us for the things we know we did. Amen. The things that we are not cautious that we did do. And sometimes it was wrong. But guess what? We do it anyway. We do it anyway. You know why? This body is dust. And we made it dirt. But you know the thing about it is, sometimes people, as long as we live in, don't point the finger at so and so and so and so and so and so. Because guess what? We all was young and we all did it too. Uh -huh. But you don't have to confess the man as a God above and he knows the enemy trained. Sometimes I say, now Lord, you made me so you know my heart. You know I know what I did. He knows. And we all know too, you know. We know. But we say, boy, uh-uh. So just remember in this thing called life that we all going through, just remember, there's a God we have to answer to. And we want to respect. There's an alternative. Up there, there's an alternative. You don't want the alternative. Oh God. Amen. Forgive me for that. But we all gonna walk. Let's all wear our white and our crown one day. Our Lord and our Savior. Okay? So thank you for that. See, Rosie know I go on and on and on too. But thank you all. And remember, our one good Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That's what we say. Amen. Okay? Thank you. But well, yes, thank the Lord. We are who we are. Amen. And that we have blessed us so mightily. And he has brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. Yes, yes, yes. And we are able to see this day. Yes. And I want us to put our hands together for Sister Mark. Yes. Who, hello, who just had the vision and the sensibility 
to bring us here today, this morning, just to be a blessing to each other. And we just thank God for God. Amen? Amen. And um, it, it, it's, it, it just feels special to be here, you know what she told me? She said, now nah, I want you to come and sit down. She said, I just want you to come, sit down, relax, and be a part of, of, of this experience. So thank the Lord, praise the Lord. Yes. It is also my special privilege. You know, it's amazing how God just brings things together. Because I have with us this morning a very special young man who is the Anglican Churchman Council President. Amen. Hello? Yeah. And um, he, he is, this is his fifth year as president. Uh, he's leading branches throughout the length and breadth of the Bahamas in the Anglican Church and uh, a kind of challenges which we face today. But if we can be overcomers, and we could learn to be the head of our homes yes. as from a Christian perspective, not domineering, but being servant leaders in the homes, then we could get half the battle work. Alright? And so they're the kinds of things we are looking at. But I would like you to please put your hands together and let's welcome. President Javon Moss. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Well, it's such, such a good pleasure to be with such a fine group of people this morning. When I got off the plane, the first thing Father Payne said to me was, You have an appointment. I said, You have an appointment. And then he described the community, he described the event that I was coming to. And I really didn't know what to expect. But I, I mean the hospitality, the food, the testimonials, the praises, the administrators, direction and support. I mean, I really can feel a sense of community here. So I want to thank you for allowing me uh, to be with you today. It just so, it just so happened, and I don't believe it in luck and things like that. I'm here because I'm supposed to be here. Amen. And I'm happy to be here with you. So, so, I listened carefully to my friend's testimony and it was all about praise the Lord. Amen. And if men who are leading families start to praise the Lord, start to acknowledge the Lord in all things, our country will turn out. And so, that's one of the things that as an Anglican Church men's president, I continue to try to be an example. It's certainly a pleasure. Thank you for allowing me to be here. Because I know this is your Sabbath, so we want to, you know, come and greet the senior citizens of this beautiful community. Just any little thing. Happy Sabbath. It is a pleasure, a pleasure, really a pleasure to be here with you today. It's a pleasure because we're God's children. It is a pleasure because we are not seeking. You know, once we were younger, now we get older. So the things that were on our minds as we were younger, they are not at the forefront like that now. There are different things that are there. We now seek a greater experience with God. That's what I'm seeking. I'm going to be honest to you. The things that I used to think, I walk in my 
Bible says to them, I said, God, thank you for being at a place of peace. We are not easily disturbed by the things of the world. Thank you for being at a place of peace Amen. where I can hear so much, I can see so much. I know it is not, but I can say it's okay. Yes. You know what? Jesus, mm -hmm. he walked earth. He walked among men. Mm -hmm. He saw the good. Mm -hmm. He saw the ends. But yet, he loved. <laughs> yet, he loved mankind. He walked among men. He healed the man. He was rejected. He walked among men. My Lord. He talked with men. He encouraged men. Yet, when he needed help, even his very close friends slept on him. Mm. When I think about these things, I say, Lord, if you are able to help me to deal with mankind the way you do, help me to forgive. We are at this stage. I don't come here to preach. I just come to sit down and enjoy with you. <laughs> so let me say it to you. We are at this stage in our lives. While we are eating and dining, I said to Sister Mackey, Sister Mackey, Jesus fed, but in the feeding, Jesus talked. He never let that part out. That interaction with mankind, Jesus loved it. Where the physical food was very important, yeah. but the spiritual food, which is the word, was extremely important. Yeah. And we are, we are, someone said, Welcome to the city, citizens of Rome. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we are at that stage where we are now seniors. So we have to be mothers for our young people. Thank you. The things we say, the things we do, our children are watching. That's right. And so we have to encourage them to walk in the way of the Lord. My words are too feeble. They just can't express it. So I want to say to you, take Jesus, take Jesus, as we die, as we burn them, as we go about our way, take Jesus, come with me, God bless you. All the honor and all the glory for this opportunity to serve. And I keep letting people know it's not about me. It's not about Naomi. It's about the work of the Lord. And whatever he put in my hand or place in my hand, I am willing and obedient to do as the Spirit of the Lord leads me. So today, my brothers and sisters, senior citizens, I am so blessed and privileged to have each and every one of you. You are the gems. You are the special mothers and fathers that help us to be where we are today. So we give God praise. Sometimes we forget.
that we decided that we will do it for this day. And I am so grateful that Sister Wallace celebrated her birthday yesterday. Sister Rose is the day. And then this is the month of my anniversary of 33 years. Somebody give God praise for 33 years. It was rough, it was hard, but look at us today by the grace of God. I remember a couple of months ago I was in White Water Grocery Store. Now, I say God, you all the glory and praise, go with peace, 
May the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest rule and abide with each and every one of us now. And let us all say, Amen. Amen. We have a good breakfast. We have a good brunch. So let's just take a place here. Amen. Guys, I just thought to share with you a little glimpse of our paradise here on one of our beautiful islands here in the Bahamas. This is just, I mean, I'm standing on the hill overlooking, I mean, look at that beautiful ocean, guys. Look at that. This is paradise. And we give God thanks and praise just for um, this beautiful scenery. Look at the handmaid of God. Look at the beautiful ocean, guys. I just thought to pop this in here just so you guys can take a glimpse, a glance of the beautiful island that I'm living on here in the Bahamas. So I pray you all are blessed. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like this video. Have a blessed and wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, everyone. Blessings to each and every one. Enjoy.